we're looking to make a dollar. And that's what it's all. That's what it's all about. So yeah, if you don't want to do the time, you know, I don't know what your timetable is. They approached me about this last week or whatever. And said, could you guys uh, come up with a one or two megawatts for me? And here's why we go. And they shot me the resolution for a new green acid, which is pretty simple. You know, one big I would like to make a motion that we take on this. Second, so I have a motion on the floor that we table this to the next meeting. And the second motion was made by Councilman Trell, second by Councilman Trell. Any further discussion? Was well, there anything else like besides that? I personally would <coughs> like to get it done tonight because I think, you know, if we have a need in the future, the pool will benefit us. And they have a need, we should benefit them. It's kind of the spirit of cooperation. So I'm in the opinion that we'll just get it done tonight. Okay. Well, let's see if our motion to table passes first. What, what for sure is a void you're wanting? Uh, one, I, I would like to see information about the cost of what the, our cost is of GRDA power. And uh, if we can find out what's going to happen in another year, we have to come back up with this again. Why it's only just for a year. <clears throat> well, that's strictly their choice. I mean, that's, they're only asking for a 12 month period. And it probably has something to do with the way their, their contracts would fall. I would hope that does. But I don't know that much about He is one megawatt. Is that what you want to do? One, uh, it's, it's one megawatt from January right. until May, and then they want two megawatts from June, uh, July, and August. Because so, that's going to be their peak. And then it's back down to one. So it's one. In, in that June and August, are we still under what we? It's, it's still a, it's Do we have to run our engine? Uh, we hardly ran all this summer. Okay. We hardly ran all this summer. So that would always be our backup. Well, I understand that, but we can buy it cheaper than we can produce. We're, so, yeah, right now, and it's because the natural gas is so cheap. Uh, yeah, it'd be, it, 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 like I said, we get a, what happens every, every uh, about between four and five o'clock, we get a price that says, here's your, here's your price for tomorrow. If you can beat that by running, you feel free to do it. But right now it's about 20 bucks a megawatt hour. Sometimes lower, it's been, it's been in the teens this week. Um, we can't turn our engines and beat that. There's no way, there's no way. You know, we're, we're not wear and tear and everything else. Yeah, and manpower, you know, just the fuel on that, which is, you know, so there's no way we can beat the market right now. And and, then, and it's actually lower than even these long-term contracts we've got. How long that will last, I don't know. But there's so much natural gas out there right now. That's that's what's driving the price down on everything. And coal's still cheap. So we have to turn on the coal. So that's what we're doing. <coughs> well, uh, motion on the floor is to table to the next meeting. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. aye. Okay, the motion failed. I'd like to make a motion that we approve the KMEA sales and energy contract. It's been. Uh, Motion has been made by Councilman Audi that we approve the KEMEA cell of energy contract. Who is the second? Second. Second by Councilman Miller. Any further discussion? No further discussion. Those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed saying aye. Aye. Motion passes. Next item on the agenda is adjournment. So moved. Been moved by Councilman Brown and we adjourn. We have a second. There ain't no discussion on me. Any discussion? <laughs> oh, so that's a discussion. Those in favor say aye. Aye. I think those same. Most of the carries. We're now in the work session. Katie, do you have anything at this time? I do not. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Uh, Glenn, do you have anything? No, nothing further. Okay. Uh, under discussion items, uh, early retirement. Back at it here again. Uh, you may remember a few years back we had a window of opportunity for our employees. It was just for one year. Um, that you could um, basically take early retirement. Um, this is exactly the same program we had back then. I believe we had four people take advantage of back then. They typically are, are you people between 60 and 65. They don't qualify for Medicare yet. Um, so they want to stay in our health insurance. <coughs> but you know, they may, they got their 85, they qualify under capers. So the, really the only gap they're looking for is that, that, that health care. This would allow them to stay on for the same amount. If you, for every 10 years you work, you can stay on for a year. 
um, just like you're still working, and we would, you know, pay that. That's pretty good. That's really the same thing. We pay that, <laughs> or they pay part of it, too? Uh, we would we set up where we're, we're at, well right now uh, because of which program we we split at ninety five five and the other one's one hundred percent. The one that when they retire that's one hundred percent. Well, we've we got two different two different plans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They need to play pay nothing for five percent. Yeah, but but as it is right now, that's, but it changes every year slightly because of you know what your health insurance is going to be for year. year. So it you know it's it's it, it's as if you were continuing to work for. How many people would want to do it? Uh, a couple of people approach us. What's your age? Well, they're over 60. They're over 60. Yeah. As I understand, I'm under the belief that we've had significant turnover in our senior level employees. And my concern is succession after these experienced people leave. Are we in a, in a safe position to fill them with existing staff? Or is it a detriment to the city to let these people go? <coughs> I mean, they can leave anytime they want. Right. right? They, you know, Is it a, in our best interest? Well, to let them go they're going to be shortly anyway. The city of Molson will get 65 in a couple of years. Right. So that's training time. Right. It, it, it is. is. We um, need that training time. Um, right now, the, uh, I hate to say we couldn't live without some of the people over there because that's, you know, we'd like to keep everybody. But probably the people would take it, we'd be able to replace either by hiring somebody new and involving you know, somebody else or you know, hiring. I don't think it would hurt our operations to lose some of the folks who probably would take it down. In the short term, there was an adjustment, but long term, no. So I'm, I'm hearing that you wholeheartedly support this policy. Yeah, I, I think it worked out for us last time. And, and you know, the people who, uh, um, you know, were, I, that I thought we could, well, we had, a, we had a couple surprises, but the people who really wanted to do it were really in a position where, you know, they, you know, this was, for one of them, was really kind of his only option. Physically in a, in a tough spot, and so uh, it really helped him out a lot. A couple other people also did. So, you know, I, I don't know how many people would actually take. Probably, probably at least two people would pay. So, what happens is, is you have people making you know substantial wages and benefits would be replaced by somebody coming in at an entry level who wouldn't be paying that. So you you carry on the health insurance for uh, two or three years, whatever that period is, and then they're qualified for. So is this, this is, is this just a one-time deal? Well, that's what we did before. And remember, we just had it for one year. We had a window of opportunity, three months, to make that choice. And that's why I presented the end rather than a permanent policy. Because well, we kind of felt uncomfortable doing that last time. I was looking at it from my point of view. It, I, I think we ought to use it as a permanent policy to uh, try to I don't know, keep people around longer. Hey, this is an incentive when you get older. Yeah, that's, and that, I think that's a legitimate way to look at it because yeah. um, then you, even as you're coming in, it's hard to think that far ahead. I know I did when I was in my twenties, but you know, you get there close to every day, I guess. You, you look, say, okay, there's that possibility I could uh, have that for the retirement if I chose it. There's always a trade-off, you know, because you're going to get your retirement versus your full pay or whatever. And some people are ready to do that, some people are not, and so they, that's always you know family discussion. What about the simple? <laughs> Sick leave, it's, it's covered under that. Some of that's paid out under that. <coughs> we have a policy on the sick leave, and I'm, I'm not saying you should alter that at all. So the same thing for your vacation time. Like that. that's, you know, so we're not really changing that. You pay them. Right. Yeah. It, it, yeah. Oh, so, yeah, there's there's incentives built in there. So if you're if you're close to this, it's something you're going to look at. It's something you're going to look at. How long would they stay on our health insurance? Well, depending on, you know, for every 10 years. For 10 years of city service, yeah, you get yeah, one year. Right. Yeah. So if somebody's 30 years, they get up to three years. Or they can't be on our Blue Cross Blue Shield if they qualify for that. But if we made it a permanent policy and somebody came down with a very expensive illness that was draining our, our health insurance through the road. Uh, they would just stay yeah. probably as city employees anyway. And that's what most people would do in that situation. So. You know, you're, you're just kind of treating them as if they're still important. What if that person that has that illness that messes up the insurance is already retired and receiving the insurance? 
I mean, like they retire and all of a sudden they have a terrible, you know, whatever. Yeah, whatever terrible whatever yeah. Half. I mean, yeah. whatever. Well, they're, right? be, yeah. well, they're going to be on your insurance. Yeah. But they would have that if they were still working for you, I would think. But I, I, I don't know. Uh, so you know, the city, you never lose your sick leave. You can always accumulate it. Yeah. If you never, uh, you know, well, there's a cap. There's a maximum. There's a maximum. Yeah. You know, we, we cap. Both. So we have a user or lose it type of policy. Right? Look, look at this, look at 18 weeks of sick leave here, yeah. and possibility of <coughs> paying out that. Yeah, I think we had a substantial amount of sick leave. You can get that money. Have six days and you lose it. Yeah, you know, it, it's still pretty much generous. Yeah. Uh, uh, is, that 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 is, is that like most cities do on sick leave? Yeah, I mean, uh, Public employees that tend to have uh, more heavy on the benefits than on contractors and salaries. And that's for just the so a lot, see, a lot of what we work for is that retirement or employee sick leave or, you know, uh, vacation time and things like that. That's, um, there's an advantage of doing that because it's all increased tax, basically. Or you can take the wages and salaries. Anyway, it's a rerun over the year, I think three years ago, four years ago, whatever that was. Um, so, like I said, I talked to people approaching about that. I guess the question is, do you want to do it again? Do you want to do it for one year? Do you want to make it a permanent policy that would fall under our state personnel policy or something like that? Or, I think it ought to be a one year. Yeah, or just do case by case. Quarterback Alex Smith. When you retire, uh, you, it's a percentage of your pay, whatever you get. You know, that's good loss. Don't be careful. Be careful what you're saying, because I might calculate that. You might See calculate it up the, you know, the influence of that. I don't think we'll leave. You don't get sick. Uh, <laughs> so, whatever. Uh, yeah, anyway, it, it worked out for, I think we had four people last time. Doing this. So, I said probably a couple more would do that. Why you don't want my vacation on my other company? Should have done that. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like they'll be bringing that back to us. Yeah. Is there anything from the railroad? No, not at all. Railroad is telling me no. They're not responding at all. Yeah. So we may have to go. <coughs> can we block it? Just block it? Did, did, we, did we ever find out I'm for going. sure that Kyle is still in part of it? <laughs> I have not. <laughs> See, that's, that's, yeah, I don't, I don't know if there's, there's still owners of the, the, the track or the ground, however that works with the UP. I still don't know whether they're still in the mix of that or not, which may explain why they're not responding. I know they're airing every man who was here when we started this whole thing with the grant from PayDot and the FAR uh, from the federal side there. He is moving to Texas. So uh, I have not been able to find the guy who replaced him, or maybe he did get replaced him. So they're their own creature, and they got to do what they please. You know, but usually they, 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 you know, the previous couple of uh, regional managers are pretty good about contacting us and telling us what was going on. And especially we're going through that whole grant process and laying a lot. We have a lot of contact with them and the state at that point because they've had to coordinate a lot of things with us. Is there anybody at KDOT that would go through? <clears throat> and that might be the best, 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 best source to go through. Just one person that was. I'm sure they've got a project manager. You ever get a hold of Susan McCann or Uncannon? Or uh, or? I haven't. I know she's been out of the country uh, recently. I think she's back. Uh, what about, what's the name over at Concordia? Um, no, she she, she works yeah. on that. Yeah. 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 She'd be a good What's it even coming up and doing? Yeah, so we can get things going. Well, yeah, it's, it's, well, it's, it's going to be hard spring. next time again. It's going to be winter. Yeah, spring. we're in September now. That was, we were thinking April. That started. I got one question for you. Where, what are we financing that walking trail cement? Where is the money coming from? From, from the grant. No, I right mean, now, you right. said they don't have it yet. Not yet. Okay, okay, where's the money coming out of it? Uh, we for, pay the... Right, the capital improvements. The RCIP fund, and then we get reimbursed. We get that's, that's typically how we do it. Use, use that thing a heck of a lot on different things. We uh, do, oh yeah. yeah CIP. I thought we were supposed to be saving money for that Main Street. We are. We are? How much we save? I don't know what the fund is at right now, but we get a pretty good balance at the end of the year. Um, yeah, I, I don't know exactly. We have to just dedicate to that. 
because we'll also have for up here on the North Campus raises your hand. Okay, and that bond issue out of that. So we'll have it for both. You're paying the bond out of that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that comes out of that too. So, uh, so that'll stretch it. don't like who borrow money when we save some money to make it. Yeah. yeah. Same way with the fire truck. We save money. Right. We could have saved a heck of a lot of money on interest on over. We could have, but remember we had those two trucks that came back to back within two years. Yeah, but some of that was donated money too. It was, yeah. But we just, I mean, we don't put that much aside every year. Well, Unless yeah. you want to increase that NOAA beyond that. But. Well, we do have a question. Yeah, so I'd like to change the subject. Uh, sorry, Paul. Okay. <laughs> Uh, where do we stand on that equipment replacement out to uh, Westside Park? We really haven't talked with Lynn much about that at all, to tell you the truth. It hasn't been a real high priority as far as we want to make it that we can, we can move that up. But I know she's been doing a lot of other things that we just haven't really. Part of it is going back and replacing it, we don't want to see it torn up again. So we need to have some kind of security system. Do you have a security system? Uh, well, you figure though during the winter months, you did. you've got the gate shut because of the Christmas lights. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, so I'm not sure that's not when, when the damage is being caused. No. Yeah, I did see it as damaged again because it's now a repetitive cycle. So. I mean, I just assume they think about it over the fall and the winter and then decide how to good act. I'm just looking for a time when they're going to decide one way or the other. Yeah, we'll we'll come back with something that uh, okay. makes sense as far as reasonable. I don't want to think as far as it is. Right. Yeah. And so you feel like you're punishing the kids, but then you don't want to see it torn up again. And so yeah. Um, so I don't know what kind of security to prevent that. Probably not the hundred percent. We can drop it. So no, we haven't forgotten about that part. And also with the ball fields, I know. Parks and Rec net with all the injured parties in the ball fields. And they've got a plan for approving that dugout. Did you get dugouts? Insurance money for the loss of that piece of equipment? Uh, yeah, we, we did it for, for over there on uh, the West Side Park. Yeah. 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 So it's not money. Well, yeah, I know. I just hate, I, I hate to see us replace it and then have it you know, over and over again like that. But I mean, that's the hangover. What do you mean over and over again? You mean you expect them to tear it up again? Yeah. See, it's happened more than once. So, yeah. See, that, that's the problem. Hey, no. We'll replace it and have it hit again. And, you know, we're going to replace it again or whatever. So we need, to, we need to come up with something. I don't think we can. Security cameras? Anything like that? Security cameras would probably be the best thing. Right? How that all works. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's where we're at on that. It needs to be protected. Have a good evening, guys. I was talking to you. 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 I was talking to you